Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Busi and today we are exploring the city of St. Catharines in Ontario, Canada. St. Catharines has a population of approximately 133,000 according to the 2016 census data. St. Catharines has a diverse population with the majority sitting at around 85%, identifying as white, followed by Asian at 4.7%, black at 2.6 percent and indigenous people at 1.8 percent. St. Catharines has a couple of beaches that you can enjoy including Sunset Beach which I have shared a short video of on the channel and have linked in the description. Do check that video out if you would like to see how Sunset Beach looks and you haven't yet seen that video on the channel. Lakeside Park Beach is where we currently are. This is a picturesque beach on Lake Ontario and is a great place to relax and enjoy the stunning views of the lake. It has plenty of amenities including picnic areas and a playground for the kids. You do have to pay for parking at this beach as you've just seen us do and you will display the ticket on your dash. Over here, you can see that people are playing volleyball. So that is something you can enjoy if you come to this beach. And you can also buy food and other summer treats like ice cream while you're at the beach. So you don't always have to pack anything when you're coming along if you don't feel like making that food yourself. This is Port Dalhousie, a charming district located on the shores of Lake Ontario and offers a variety of restaurants, boutiques and other shops. It is an ideal place to explore for families looking for a day out and is around three minutes away from Lakeside Park Beach. The median age is 44 years with the average wage, according to data from Statistics Canada in 2016, being a bit over 48,600 Canadian dollars. This amount can vary widely depending on the industry and occupation one is in. The city has a diverse economy with a range of industries, including manufacturing, health care, education and tourism, among others. The cost of living in St. Catharines is generally considered to be more affordable compared to larger cities like Toronto and Vancouver. I have a video on the channel comparing the cost of living with estimate costs shared for a family of four and an individual in cities like St. Catharines, Toronto, Vancouver, among others. I have linked it in the description. This is Montebello Park, which is the city's central park and offers the perfect place to relax and enjoy the outdoors. The St. Catharines Farmer's Market is a great place to pick up fresh produce, artisanal cheeses, homemade baked goods and other locally sourced foods. The town is not usually this quiet, so if you're wondering where everybody is, it was a public holiday when we took this video and a lot of shops were closed and that's why the streets seem a bit more dry. We are now making our way to Br Rock University, a prestigious university located in the city of St. Catharines in Ontario, Canada. If you are considering moving to the city and you have children, it is worth knowing that Brock is one of the top universities in Canada and it offers a wide range of programs and extracurricular activities. If you are planning to move to Canada but feeling overwhelmed with the number of places to choose from or perhaps you're already living in Canada but considering a move to a different area and unsure where to start, I have created a comprehensive guide drawing from personal experience living in five areas across four towns since moving to Canada with my family in 2019. This comprehensive guide is your ultimate resource for choosing the perfect Canadian destination to call home. The link to download the guide is in the description. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.